here walking to my kitchen. It was like seeing a ghost for real. It was, it was, I mean, it took my breath away, you know. And I'm still, it's kind of hard for me to wrap my mind around it. Yet. An incredible story of survival in the wake of tragedy, 13-year-old Jamie Claus, who vanished in October when her parents were found murdered, is alive. Jamie will now live with her aunt, who says that she's thankful that no one gave up on her niece. And we do have live team coverage tonight from the people who found her to her disappearance. But first, let's get right out to News 9's Victoria Saha, live from Barron County, with the latest details on the alleged abductor, 21-year-old Jake Thomas Patterson. Victoria. Yes, Melissa, P police say that Patterson shot and killed Jamie's parents, Denise and James, before abducting the teen girl using a gun to shoot open the door. Police also say Patterson went to great lengths to hide his identity by shaving his head so he wouldn't leave back any hair. This is a man police say killed Jamie Kloss's parents and held her captive in his home in rural Douglas County for months. Up until now, his criminal past limited. Jake Patterson had zero criminal history locally and zero criminal history in the state of Wisconsin. And investigators say they didn't even have Patterson on their radar. Planned his actions and took many proactive steps to hide his identity from law enforcement and the general public. The 21 year old allegedly unemployed, keeping the young girl hidden when others were around. Jamie was taken against her will and escaped from a residence at which she was being held and found help. Records show the defendant's father transferred the title of that cabin to a credit union eight days after Jamie went missing. But why isn't clear. We also know Patterson went to a school in Washburn County. A classmate who didn't want to be identified says he was a quiet kid and that no one really heard from him after high school graduation. Investigators continuing to piece together the puzzle while they say Jamie was a target and not her parents. The question still remains, why her? Patterson is jailed on two counts of first degree intentional homicide and kidnapping charges. Officials believe Patterson is the only suspect in this heartbreaking case. Patterson is also expected to face a judge on Monday and will have live coverage from the courtroom. Live in Barron County, Victoria Saha, News 9 WAOW. Thanks for the update, Victoria.